Hello and welcome to this week's VectorVest special presentation. My name is Jim Penna, Manager of Retirement Services here at VectorVest, and I'm happy to be presenting this week's topic, which is titled, Worry-Free Investing, Customizing Long-Term Winners. It's been six months now since Ms. Kathy Onan kicked off our Worry-Free Investing series when she conducted her presentation called Back to Basics with Long-Term Winners. That was back on January 29th of this year. And since then, we have presented several discussions on how to find safe, high-quality stocks to fill your portfolio and how to use just a couple of basic option trades to both generate income and insure your portfolio. And my goal in this presentation is to show you just a few tweaks that you can make to the long-term winner's RS descending search so that you can find just the right stocks to employ this strategy. So let's recap quickly for those who may be new to worry-free investing. And here's how it works. We simply wait for the confirmed up call in the VectorVest market timing system. We then go out, we buy high RS or relative safety stocks. These are safe, high quality stocks rising in price in a rising market. When the confirmed down call comes, we simply stop buying or we don't replace any positions that may have been stopped out during the life of the portfolio. And the exit strategy is simply sell the stocks when the recommendation or the rating in the VectorVest program equals a sell. So that's the core of worry-free investing, but our objectives are threefold here, and let's walk through them. First and foremost, capital appreciation. Again, buying those safe, high-quality stocks in a rising market is a surefire way to achieve significant capital appreciation. Next are dividends. And while sometimes those dividend payouts may seem small, they sure do add up, as I'll illustrate in just a moment. And then finally, the worry-free investing uses options to both generate income and protect your portfolio, specifically by selling covered calls and buying protective puts or combining the two to make the collar trade. Let's start with the dividends. Here we have the long-term winners RS descending dividend results, and this is from a special presentation I did back on June 17th called Dividend Income, One More Benefit of Worry-Free Investing. And at that time, we had sat down and calculated the dividend payouts from Kathy's trading plan that began back in 1996 and took us right up to that date of June 17th. Now at that point, 177 trades had been placed, 167 of them round trip, and there were currently 10 open positions at the time. And we had collected dividends 544 separate times that gave us a total return of over $51,800 in dividend income. Now whether you took that cash out and spent it or used it to reinvest into your portfolio is entirely up to you. But those numbers do sure add up over time. Next I put together a list of our worry-free investing special presentations and specifically I wanted to focus on the ones that talk about options again to generate income and protect your portfolio. So on February the 5th, how to generate income using worry-free investing focused on selling covered calls. And on the 12th of February, and then again on June the 10th, we illustrated the collar trade and how to use that to lock profits in and again protect your portfolio from any violent downturns in the market. And then finally, just a couple of weeks ago, Mr. Todd Schaefer put the worry-free investing companies to the acid test. He used the 10 and 30 week moving averages. I'm going to employ that today with the 50-day and 150-day moving averages as well as we tweak this search again to try and optimize our trading plan. And so with these three objectives in mind, let's go ahead and jump into the program and do just that. From the home page, I'm going to go right up to the main toolbar and I'm going to take us into the Unisearch tool. And in our Unisearch directory here, we have our searches retirement folder and I'll click there to open up the list of searches there and I'm going to go ahead and choose long-term winners RS descending and here the power of the sort puts the relative safety in descending order so when I run the search we can see the type of stocks that come back in the search and we're looking for very basic parameters stock price greater than a buck average volume this is a 50-day moving average of volume just a hundred thousand shares and the stock exchange cannot equal either indexes or pink sheet stocks or bulletin board stocks. So very basic parameters and we're relying on the power of relative safety as our sort here with the very strongest relative safety numbers coming to the top of the list. Remember relative safety is defined as the consistency and predictability of financial performance for a stock. So stocks with a relative safety above one are more predictable and consistent than the average stock in the VectorVest program. So we're just bringing the very safest stocks to the top of the list here. 
Now it stands out to me when I run long-term winners, when I try to apply the entire worry-free trading investment plan, is that I'm looking at some stocks that are pretty high priced. Public Storage, Intuitive Surgical, Edwards Life Science, all of these stocks are above $100 a share. So remember to sell options, to sell covered calls, you need round lots, you need to own at least 100 shares of the stock. So when we employ our theoretical $100,000 portfolio and maintain 10 positions, these stocks that are over $100 will not allow us to purchase those 100 shares to sell the covered call, which would also deny us the opportunity to use the collar trade as the covered call is part of that. So that's number one, we have some high price stocks. And secondly, if I slide over a bit, remember dividends is an important part and we want to get paid here. But when I look at the dividend yield for the stocks that come to the top of the long-term winners list, in this case, three of the top 10 stocks are currently not paying any dividend at all. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to tweak this search so that you can ensure those dividend payments on any position that you own and also have the opportunity to sell covered calls and be able to place the collar trade if you so choose. First, I'm going to start with what Todd showed just a couple of weeks back on July the 8th. And again, he put these stocks to the acid test. And all that means is that we're going to add some parameters to meet those standards. So I'm going to click in the parameter box and I'm going to edit the current long-term winner strategy. We'll start with stocks from the first menu, price volume, and I want to be sure that the price of my stock is greater than the 50-day moving average. And so I click in the value box, I choose stocks, and under vector vest fields we have built in here the 50-day moving average of price. So all I've done was add the parameter that the stock price has to be greater than the 50-day moving average. Now, a quick note as I add moving averages here. You do need the ProTrader add-on module to be able to do this. In tonight's views, there is a link that you can click on for a free two-week trial to the ProTrader. And we'll even take 100 bucks off the original price if you go ahead and purchase it after that two-week trial. Um, but click that link to get the free trial. Or simply call Product Support and they'll take care of it for you. Okay, so our stock price is greater than the 50-day moving average. My next step is to find stocks whose 50-day moving average is greater than the 150-day moving average, or as Todd pointed out in his special presentation, the acid test. Right, so we want to add the 150-day moving average, but it's not a vector vest field, and I'm going to go ahead and take a second and show you how to create the 150-day moving average. Again, you'll need ProTrader to do this, but if I go to Custom Field Builder, Here's where I'm able to build any field uh, that I want to create. I'm going to choose Fields from the Custom Field Builder, Price Volume, and anytime we're dealing with moving averages, we choose Price Split Adjusted. I'm then going to click on Moving Average. I'm going to customize that. I'm going to choose Days and type in 150. I'll click OK. When you're building a custom field, be sure that you've got the parameters correct. I'll hit Validate, and the custom field has validated successfully. Click OK. Save the changes. Now, I had already built one, so it already exists, but I just wanted to show you how to create that. We'll exit out of there, and we're ready to go. So, my stock price is greater than the 50-day moving average. Now, I'm going to go back in again to my vector vest field and I'm going to choose the 50-day moving average of price. And here I want it to pass the acid test, right? So I'm going to make sure that it's greater than the 150-day moving average, which I have built into my custom fields. So that's tweak number one. We're passing the acid test that Todd talked about a couple of weeks back. Next, I said what stood out to me was the fact that if I were employing the theoretical portfolio of $100,000, and I was maintaining 10 positions, any stock over $100 would not allow me to buy a round lot or at least 100 shares, which is what I need to be able to sell covered calls. So a quick fix for that is simply to go into price volume and here I'm going to choose price actual. So at the time of search, the stock price has to be less than $100 per share. 
Now, of course, you can adjust this number to the size of your portfolio. It may be greater, it may be smaller. The idea here is to ensure the, that you can at least buy round lots, whether it's 100 shares or 500 shares or whatever number you want to set that at so that you can go ahead and sell covered calls and also place collar trades when the time is appropriate. And the last tweak had to do with dividends. So again, I'll click in the parameter box. I'll choose dividend analysis. And here I'm going to choose dividend yield. And all I want to be sure of is that the companies that I purchase are going to pay me. Right? I need them to pay me something. I'm not going to get too greedy with the percentage yield, but I want the stocks in my portfolio to pay me. So here, the dividend yield is greater than zero. So when I go ahead and run the search after the tweaks that I've made, let's take a look at the type of stocks that come back this time. So some of them are the same as came up earlier, but what we notice, of course, is that the price of these stocks in the top 10 are all below $100. Okay, so using that theoretical portfolio, I'm able to buy at least 100 shares of each. And here, when I look over at the dividend information, I see that I have these dividend yields, which really aren't too bad. They're all over 1%. The dividend safety, all very strong, and the dividend growth rate's all very strong. Okay, so all I've done is, as I move forward with my worry-free investing plan, that I, I'm now confident that I can go ahead and sell covered calls. I can place a collar trade if I need to protect positions or protect profits. And I know, because this is a long-term trading plan, that some of these stocks I'll probably hold for a while, and that I can continue to get paid those dividends, which, as I noted earlier, really do add up uh, in the long run. So it's really that simple. So what I'm going to do is save this search into my program. So I'm going to go up to this tray of icons here to the upper left corner. I'm going to choose Save. I'll left click on Save As. And I'm just going to name this Long Term Winners RS Descending Customized. Make sure I have Long Chosen and I'm going to leave it right in my retirement folder. So I'll click OK. And now I have this search saved long-term winners RS descending customized so with this newly created search let's go ahead to the main toolbar and I'm gonna choose back tester and let's see if we've made this any better than what we could expect with just the long-term winners RS descending baseline now what I've done is I've for the sake of time I've already run the back test here and to do that I simply clicked on new I chose an existing trading system from the menu and we do have built right in the long-term winner search. So when I left click there and I choose select, it's got all of the rules to the search built in. All I have to do is change my test period. And what I did was simply chose a five-year period from today back five years ago. We've seen a lot of volatility, a lot of different types of markets over the last five years. So I, I just chose a five-year window to test this. So I simply took our date back to July the 20th of 2011 and I click OK and I've already run this so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this and that's the results that we see here uh, using confirmed calls over a five-year period the last five years we've got a 72.63 total return 50% winning trades not a lot of trades done here only five hundred and thirty seven dollars in commissions annualized rate of return of 14.5%, which compounds to an 11.5% return, and a drawdown, really, of uh, not a terrible drawdown, of 11%. So what I'm going to do now is choose Copy. And we're going to go ahead and leave all of the rules exactly the same. The only change that I'm going to make is I'm going to choose Customize Trading System, go to Automation Rules Up, and I'm simply going to go in and change the search that we used. All of the other rules are going to remain exactly the same. And I'm going to take our long-term winners customized. I'm going to hit next. We're still taking no action during the confirmed down call. And I'll choose finish. My date range is the same. All of my rules are the same except we're using the customized search. So I'm going to let this one run out and we'll go ahead and compare the two searches and see if we can beat that baseline. Now remember, a uh, quick note on back testing. All we're doing is reconstructing using historical data, trades that would have occurred in the past using a defined set of rules. The numbers that we see at the end of the test allow us to find any flaws or to optimize our trading plan. But most importantly, what it does is allow us the confidence in the trading plan moving forward. 
And so as we watch our trading plan move through, uh, that's what we're trying to do. Mostly here is build a confidence in this trading system. And remember what we're looking at here as this plays through. Uh, two things are not coming into account. Number one are the dividend payments that we've assured that we'll receive uh, for holding these stocks because we set that up in the parameters as well as the ability to place the covered call trades to generate income and the collar trades that will allow us to protect ourselves against any of the drawdown that comes in. And so when we compare the two, the same time frame, uh, here's the number that really stood out to me is the percent winners. We have 81.5% winning trades. We've upped our gain to almost 20% above the baseline. Our commissions even went down $437.80. Our annualized rate of return is up to 18.25% compounded up to almost 14% as well, and the max drawdown came down. But what I really like are the percent winners, and I think the acid test probably had a lot to do with that as we're replacing stocks that have that upward momentum that have passed that acid test. If we take a quick look at the current holdings, we'll see three of these stocks were bought on the opening of the portfolio, which actually didn't occur until October, because starting five years ago, we were actually in a confirmed down call. So we've had these three stocks uh, held for the life of the five-year portfolio. We see that the quantities will permit us to sell covered calls and place collar trades when we see fit. And when we go to watch list view, we know that all of these stocks, once again, are paying us a dividend. And so just to summarize, as we look at our three objectives here of capital appreciation, dividends, and income from selling options, I hope these minor tweaks to the search optimize your portfolio by collecting dividends from all of the stocks that come up on the long-term winners and leave you the opportunity to sell those covered calls and use the collar trade to protect those profits once you have them. And that concludes this week's special presentation. If you have any questions or need assistance at all, please don't hesitate to call 888-658-7638. And as always, thank you for joining us.